Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Chrono Cross. Today we're gonna finally be entering Chronopolis and uh, seeing what's up. And by the way, before we start, uh, if some of my controls are a little bit funny or I'm a little bit slow, I changed up the controls a little bit, so you're gonna have to forgive me for that. Yeah, let's go ahead and go into Future Ruins. So yeah, I didn't really make any big changes. I basically made my controls instead of my directional pad, I made it like my analog uh, because of some issues with my emulator, but yeah. I heard Group 3B's experiment today is going to be a biggie. They're releasing the flames lock level to D in order to trace the counter time effect. Yeah, but based on previous experiments, I'm sure it'll be working. By the way, this is Balth Balthasar's lab. This is where they experimented with the frozen flame, like uh, with time travel, stuff like that, dimensions, you know, some weird stuff. So they did a lot of time based research here uh, during the simulation fate guaranteed that they would be able to use the flame as an uplink to extract the anti-annihilation energy associated with it don't worry it'll be a success i hope so so this place um oh i didn't realize it was a boss right here is this a boss i'm guessing it is so this place was used a lot for um experimentation so this is basically like in my opinion, the most important place in the entire game overall. Oh, and like, that's what I mean by this is going to be a little bit awkward, because I'm not used to... I'm actually using the analog for this, so it's going to be a bit weird. But I'll get you it eventually. Those are some good hits right there. Like a ton fist. Oh! Jeez. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and, uh... Wow. 600-something. <clears throat> Definitely gonna be <laughs> reviving my boy, Gro uh, Mr. Roboto over there. Jeez. Oh, Let's see. Get some good hits, and then do we have? Um. Wait, do I have Nostrum on this guy? No. All right, you know what? We'll we'll just use a cure. Yeah, I was just gonna use a cure on ourselves then. <clears throat> I wanna make sure. I don't get one. That's it? Oops. Okay, I'll definitely have to heal a bit more than that. I mean, I have some really hard hitters at least. Oh, why is he going for him? Okay, good. Good. Nice. That's good. <laughs> I was hoping he wouldn't die. No. I mean, these controls, like I said, you're going to have to forgive me a little bit. Um, hmm. I don't want to heal all. Let's just use a cure plus on him. Because we're not going to need two. We don't need to heal anybody else but other than him. Okay, he's still not at full, but you know what? It'll do. It'll do, donkey. It'll do. Let's go to him. You know, let's try to do a three. I and mean, I was going to defend. Oh, it's already over. Alright, never mind. Wait. No, it's not. Uh, no. Okay. Let's defend. Let's go back to Surge. Is he, like, broken? Good hit. Let's go to Orla. Okay, nice miss. Ugh, two misses from Orla. Bazooka, this is gonna hurt. Probably. I'm guessing this is gonna hurt quite a bit. It, it's gonna hit Surge. Insta-death. Cool. There's some good hits. Let's go ahead and just use Revive. Yeah, let's use Revive on Surgeon. This guy's so annoying because his hits just insta-kill. Can't really deal with that. Uh, let's go back to... Uh, Grobig is not really good at healing, so let's try to hit with Surge a couple times. Hopefully he doesn't... Attack. Okay, well he hits Orla, who has like full health. Man, this guy is really bad at hitting. He's missed, I think, half of his shots thus far. And then let's go to... Here, I'll use this one. I don't want to go to the 3 plus. This should heal all of us up to full. Surge is a pretty good healer overall, so that should be fine. Alright, good hits. Is he dead yet? Okay, good stuff. Man, that was close. 
That guy, like, isn't a hard boss. The problem is it's hard to finish the fight with all members alive. He just hits so stupidly hard. His things basically... I mean, like, I don't know if there's, like, a way to prevent that, but... Any of his moves other than his basic attack basically one-shot me. Let's go over here. I don't really want to fight this thing if I don't have to. If... If I have to, I'll come back and fight it. For like XP and stuff, yellow brooch. I don't think I really need. Oh no, I'm stuck, aren't I? All right, you know what? Well, we're gonna fight one of these things then. Uh, like I always try in my videos, I like to fight one of each creature just so I can show it on camera. Okay, they don't hit super hard, honestly. Uh, okay. Okay, I hit the second one. Is it already weak? No, it doesn't look like it. So it has over 400. Nice miss. Okay, it so it has about 500 health. That's not too bad. If we hit both of our threes, Orla could probably kill it. Nice. Yeah. That's good stuff right there. So they're not too hard. <clears throat> what I'm scared about here is I might have to face the second one right away. Because it was like right behind me. So I'm just going to start running right away. Okay, so we don't have to fight the second one. That's good. It was, like, right behind me, though. Let's keep moving now and see what we can do up in here. Okay, so we need... Uh, there's, we need, like, a pass for that. Um, yeah, I don't think we can go the other way. So, basically, this is, like, linear. This is the only way we can go. <clears throat> what does this do? Okay, so that... Okay, and we need to get the second bridge open. That's obvious, right? Uh, Robo Sewer Wash. Yes. Okay. So, what do we do with the little robot? Do we just... Oh, what? Oh, I get it. We have to stay on the path. I gotcha, gotcha. <clears throat> oh, we gotta, like, fight against the current. Okay, I feel, I feel. Well, I'm gonna go for that chest. Ooh. I'm gonna go for the chest. White brooch. Okay, I don't know if that really helps me at all, but... <clears throat> you know what? An item is an item. I'm gonna go for that second chest. Alright. We found a cure-all. That doesn't really help. Oh, it's gonna be, like, a treacherous road back. That's right, we'll make it slowly. <clears throat> the easy thing about this is basically the th the um, the current only pushes in one direction, so I just have to like fight against one direction, and we're pretty much good. Like in here, we go fast, so that's pretty easy. Okay, and then we come over here with the little roboto and uh, do the clicky click. Yep, just like that. We have a second bridge. All right, I don't know. Why is it work? Why it wasn't working earlier? But you know, whatever it it works now. Like, yeah, I don't know. That was weird. I was stuck there for a good like five, ten minutes. So uh, I don't know. Whatever. Let's just keep going. No worry. No worry. <clears throat> we got another little roboto. Just gonna juke him real quick. Don't want none of that action. Not now. Okay. So these are other little. Robots. Okay, so we have like four places. So we have one to the left, one to the right. Okay, we only have two places. One to the left, one to the right, and then a door. So let's go to the left first. Why not? Okay, so this is a little seaport with a save. It's probably a good idea to save. It's probably a good thing we came left first just so we can go ahead and save real quick. Bam. There is the save. Now let's go check out what's up here. I don't think there is anything. But it's probably good to check. There's only this little... <clears throat> what's up, dude? Perhaps uh, we'll be able to control time. Alright, okay, so this is basically what I was saying earlier. They're doing experiments with time here, so... Yeah, they could basically just screw with the world, space, and time if they succeeded. 
Okay, let's go the opposite direction and see what's going on here. Oh, this one's got a door instead of just open. Okay. Um. Can we go down here? Oh, we can. Let's see what's in the chest. Forget me not something. Okay, let's keep going up. Maybe we'll be able to get a pass up here or something. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, why can't... Oh, oh, there's, there's doors. Okay, never mind. Um, you need to go away. I don't want to fight you. Okay, there's a door right here. Let's see. Please, okay, I was like... Okay, what do we do from... Oh. Oh, okay. Security level 2, please release the lock. Okay, we probably have to... I don't know if we have to kill this thing to release the lock, but let's do it anyway. Again, I want to see kind of what it looks like, how it attacks, how strong it is. Uh, let's go ahead and... Yeah, I guess we'll attack one of the flying boys first. Missed. Oh, that was a good hit, though. Still sucks, because I could have killed it if he would have hit the first one. Let's hit a two. Three. Okay. So both of them are going to be fairly low. Oh, okay. Let me just finish it off. Oh, this thing doesn't... Oh, yeah, it doesn't do that much damage. Let's go in with Orla. Yeah, basically one shot. We could kill this thing, especially with Surge. Ah, we don't miss. No, okay. If Surge hits both of... I don't... I keep not meaning to do that. If he hits both of these... Yeah, it'll be, it'll be dead. Yeah, what I'm definitely going to have to do is after this uh, episode or end of my recording session, I'm going to have to go back and maybe change it back to uh, the buttons, not the analogs. The analog is a little hard to attack with. Oh, well, maybe going here would help. Let's see what's in here. Um, I'm guessing we can't go in here yet. No. So I'm guessing we have to go in here to unlock either the elevator or get a pass. So this is El Nido. Originally, El Nido is nothing but an ocean. The El Nido Archipelago was purely artificial, created by fate. It was remodel. It was a remodeling plan that took place 10,000 years ago. Planet. Include islands blessed with nature in the Sea of El Nido. The main island of El Nido, Earth Dragon Isle, Water Dragon Isle, and Black Dragon Isle. The development of elements using the energy of the natural, the distribution of memory terminal devices called the records of fate that could survey and guide people's lives. The research center of staff where their memories of the future rest left the center and began a life outside of missed nature. This is how fate's paradise came into existence. And for over 10,000 years, fate has been watching over and guiding the descendants of the staff who left this research center. That is until 14 years ago when a boy came in contact with the frozen flame on the night of the storm which is um surprise surprise us there's nothing behind the computers right i'm guessing we have to go tap the big buttons in the middle right maybe here maybe here uh maybe here oh maybe here releasing lock okay boom uh, let's talk to this guy make sure he doesn't wear my mind's been blanking out. Okay, well, it was right beside him. But, yes. Let's, let's continue on. Now, hopefully... Uh, let's go to floor three. We're on two. One is the one that we were originally on. Let's go to three and four, and I guess just see what's up. I don't even know if it'll let me there. But we definitely need to... Some things still need a... Like a key card right, let's go in here check out what's going on in here hmm oh chest rainbow shell okay we actually need those to craft rainbow stuff that's lavos lavos um yeah so that's Lavos. We've heard plenty of him. 
uh, said to, to from the, with yeah. So it's basically just telling about Lavos and kind of its story. However, a group of young time travelers, which was Chrono Trigger. Okay. Um. Blah 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 blah. blah. I don't want to read all this because there's so much. I'll be here for the rest of this episode. Um. Those are people. That's a lizard. Like a lizard person. I. Uh, do we have anything to do here? In there. Um. Please let me through. There we go. 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 Um, there's a brain. There's two brains floating. Model of Blaine or not Blaine? Brain. Why does this one have needles? Uh, lower animal brain. What is this? Okay, so that's a bunch of brains, my dudes. Some creepy stuff right there. Life, the life forms on this planet developed from single cell microorganism to protozoans, then from the fish to amphibians, from reptiles to mammals, eventually to humans, beginning with the cere uh, cerebral neocortex, which only exists in higher mammals. Um, could the reason for abnormal development of the human brain be biological contamination caused by la Lavos? That would mean that humans are really a heterogenic life, heterogeneous life form. Of foreign matter, as far as the planet is concerned, humans are a sudden mutation caused by the big contact with Lavos and alien life from that fell to this planet from space. That's why humans are biologically speaking unbalanced and half finished, internally inconsistent and disconnected. The human existence is plagued by contradictions, an incomplete species torn between love and hatred, whose very being is self contradictory. From the planet's viewpoint, humans are just destroyers and cursed, yet perhaps pathetic blight to the world. It's true. So, basically, it's weird to think that. Humans in this game only happen because of Lavos, and Lavos came here to destroy the planet. Uh, fate uses the records of fate to connect directly to the brains of the humans with whom they come in contact. Fate not only imprints what actions the humans should take in their brains, but also rewrites their personalities and failings. So, uh, fate is basically kind of God in this world. Um, I'm going to just call it a she because uh, you'll see in a little bit. Uh, but uh, she basically controls everything, and like, like the the dude said in the earlier with the whole map. She basically built the island, erased memories of the people, put them on the island, and has been watching over them and kind of like guiding them towards where she wants them to go. Well, she's basically like playing God. Right, let's go. What's going on with this room? Only personnel as registered as arbiter may enter. Please evacuate your... We will do the same in case... Okay, so we can't go in here yet until we obviously do some form of action. It's just kind of how this game works. What is this? I don't... I don't think that matters. So, let's go and see what's up in here. Everyone gather round. <laughs> Let's see, in the 11th century, a scientist by the name of Luca indicated the possibility of time travel through the use of a time egg, which utilizes miniature black holes. Whether this could actually be possible or not is still a subject of intense debate and, not conclu and no conclusions have been made. According to her theory, by rotating a single point of supergravity, space-time continua can be drawn in, thus making it possible to transform that singular point which pulls everything else in into a ring of formation. Using this ring as a gate between dimensions, it should be possible to travel back and forth between various space-time. I've heard that the time egg already existed during the legendary ancient dynasty. We shouldn't have to rely on theories from an ancient civilization that may not have even existed. We can do this, but it's been said that time was altered using the time egg. That's just a legend. There isn't even any evidence to prove that this ancient dynasty ever existed. The experiment should be started soon after we dis after we discovered an unusual gravitational field in the barren area of Sierra you Leone. Know, we built several artificial islands and established Chronopolis. This was all done to facilitate our top secret research. But now our research is about to come to an end. Once the final adjustments have been made, the experiment will commence. It's just a matter of time, so everyone should keep up their good work. The chief hasn't returned, has he? Then we'll have to hold off till he gets back. Okay, so we still gotta to think the time is not absolute but elastic. Relative, 
uh, that there can be individual differences caused by changes in time. Perhaps the same people and life forms can even exist in several different space times and independent time that flows with the will. Ha, huh. So guys, one thing about this game that you're just kind of, it's just kind of something we have to accept is it's very complicated and uh, deals with space and time and there are theories. So the one thing about this game is there is not a set like this is what happened this is the conclusion basically everyone theorizes their own ideas kind of what happened. we know like the common baseline of what happened but we don't know like 100% sure and even if we do know 100% sure it's still kind of riddled with uh, different kind of bugs and loopholes so we it's in a, in a sense a lie we do know the story that itself but kind of how the story works and it's like really deep uh, ideas and involvements are not 100% clear. Now I don't know where I'm supposed to get a key pass from. I'm kind of lost in that sense. I don't know where I'm supposed to click but we still haven't gone down to the basement. So I guess we might as well check there first right? Percent sure. Please present the central lab zone registration card. Okay. So guys, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna fight a bunch of these enemies so I could like level myself a bit and I'm gonna try to find that key card. Okay guys, real quickly here, they talk about humans and reptiles. So if you guys have ever played Chrono Trigger, obviously you know um, reptiles for a while. Also it tells you in this game that reptiles uh, took over the world for a little bit. They controlled a lot of it. And basically what this thing says is that in separate universes the reptiles could have been rulers and not humans uh, so that's another thing that's I don't really don't want to get deep into it because there's like so much involved with it but um, also we'll see a little bit more progression through this game kind of more of the reptilian people kind of thing I don't want to do any spoilers but uh, I again I highly recommend googling the story it's really interesting okay uh we didn't check this room in the brain room did we and there's some uh, i need to get past this so uh looks like we're in for another fight i'm guessing the key card is behind this big uh robotic creature so let's go ahead and uh defeat the crap out of it what is a combat uh well might as well take the arrow guards out of the way first or if we don't miss just so we can just, I don't know, just get him out of the way. Might as well. Let's go to this one. Let's try to hit it with a two. Ah, it won't let us. And, oh well. I mean, it's 11 damage, but still, I wanted to hit it first. And that should be dead right there. See, does this thing hurt? Eh, it doesn't hurt that badly. Okay, maybe, maybe it hurts a little bit. But... I don't know what kind of like spells it has, so I better be careful. Oh, okay, I didn't mean to do that. Let's try to kill this thing in two hits. Ugh, it's very, very close. Orla can like barely two-shot it. It's very close to two-shotting it. Pretty sure we could kill it with like literal, just single slice. Let's just go for little pokes. Gunner, get ya. <laughs> gonna get you, gonna get you. Ha ha ha. That doesn't even do that much damage. I think I'm basically just gonna spam attacks. I don't think it's gonna kill us. I'm just gonna mash buttons. Then next up, go to Orla. Keep smashing buttons. But we do quite a bit of damage. And this ability doesn't really do much literally only like 42 that's actually nothing uplift what why oh she's confused or the why you gotta do that man i gotta drop a rock on my head all right well, that was a pretty easy other than just kind of the annoyance of orlia or orlia or orla being a bit confused it's just a little bit annoying, but nothing, nothing really bad. This has got to be the key card, right? No, it's Hellbound. Okay, time to keep looking. 
Oh, what? This door opens? Okay, guys, so apparently, this door right here, uh, apparently we got clearance at some point? Apparently? Okay. What's in here? This cannot be. This is the ancient super weapon. What is it doing here? It looks complete. Okay. Cool. So we got a thingy. Do any of these have a thing? Enter release code. Oh, we don't have that. Okay. Um. What does this have to do? Okay, I don't know. Um, I guess let's just get out of here. I don't know. But guys, I think I do know what... Oh, it's another thingy. I do think I know what we are supposed to be doing. So up on the fourth floor, or the third floor, or some floor... Okay, you know, for this one time, I'm not going to fight this one. Because I defeated everything else above me. We're supposed to go see the chief. That's what I think what we're supposed to be doing. And yeah, so... I defeated everything, 4th floor, 3rd floor, 2nd floor. Now I should be defeating these ones, but you know what, I am I started talking, and I don't feel like stopping talking, so I'm just gonna roll with it, and it's okay. <laughs> we don't need to fight those real quick, please, uh, because I know once we talk to the chief, we're probably gonna get into something. So I'm gonna save right now, just in case. I don't remember having a boss fight. Uh, <laughs> here but might as well do it just in case okay appear out of nowhere in the and those headed up by sending balthazar that's the guy i was talking about earlier in the episode i've read the peak of his here he's simply vanished we continued we've continued his work and i've come this far our work is almost complete well it's about time i headed back the experience about to begin all righty tidy why can't i walk or why won't it let me walk while he's walking Okay, cool. So he didn't drop a key card, sadly. I wish he would have just dropped the key card. That would have been great. All right, let's head into the room and see what's good in the hood. Did all the? Maybe they come back. Never mind. Well, I did defeat them all, but they came back. Okay, so we weren't allowed in this. Ooh, there's a lot of triangles. Um, the record of fate is exp that's where we save two worlds that are so close and yet so far in nature exist in different dimensions. Wow. Under the surveillance of the main computer of Chronopolis. Fate, in other words, fate has always been observing the two. So fate has been watching both worlds as we speak. Fate has manipulated the world of Alnido in order to avoid any major change to the history that it knows. In an event, an Alnido influences the main continent, the year 2400, in which fate exists. What changes paradox could, out, could potentially lead to great disaster. The records of fate, fate's terminals, collect data from around the world that input guidance directly into the minds of its users. So the things that we've been saving have literally been brainwashing us, basically. In this discreet way, fate is able to control the lives of people without them knowing. Guided by fate, the people of El Nido learned of something life. In a sense, they are nothing more than puppets of fate. An instruction to the young girl in Arnie to give up going past me as a poet. An instruction to the man in to give up becoming a fisherman. A plan to avoid any point of contact with the main continent so as not to affect history. However, ever since the formation of the Dead Sea 10 years ago, Fate has been unable to intervene directly with the World 01. The best fate could do was cross the dimension and receive data through the records of fate. And with much difficulty, fate succeeded in binding Miguel to the uh, uh, to the Dead Sea. Okay. Um, there's another big uh, spooky monster. The main computer is called Fate. Yes, I know this. Um, let's see. Do I have to, like, talk to all these people? Uh, blah, blah, blah. What does this do? Okay, well, I guess let's go to the other room, right? But first, I'm going to quickly defeat this thing and find out what's behind it. Okay, let's see what's behind box number one. Card key. Hey, that's what we needed. I, okay, it was there. Cool. It all began with the notebook my mother handed me. She told me she found it while cleaning out the closet. This old notebook covered with mold was a diary that belonged to my grandfather who passed away years ago. It contained my grandfather's distant memories. Does this device play back archives? Looks like someone's memoirs. I wonder if you still remember how we first met. 
and our many adventures. It all seemed like a dream. We ran like the wind during those warm summer days long ago. We were a piece of a star that fell from the sky. I can still relive the memories of those days long past. Just by closing my eyes like such and whispering your name into the desolate night. Kid, kid. Radical dreamers. What is this? Radical dreamers. What does this mean? There's a conversation with a comrade. So this is written by kid. Are you ready, kid? I know you're anxious, but stay in your toes. Yeah. Like otherwise, mate, you mess up and I'm leaving you behind. Got that surge. Come on, Miguel. Let's go. That bastard Lynx is gonna get it. What does he say? Your praise. Not that it'll do you any good. So this is this is kid's notebook. It seems to be an archive from a different time than our own. Aside from the two worlds we already know about, other worlds and times also exist. Just true. Real quickly, let's uh, fix that burn. Y'all know what I mean. So yeah, uh, no! We will be able to go up into the experimentation room, but, um, I don't know. Ugh. Okay, I'm gonna fight these two things and then... Alright, I have beaten the two things, and once again, I've gotten burnt so quickly. Let's just use an ointment. Fix up that straight burn, and let's see. Uh, I think, I think there's a only personnel registered as arbiter may enter. Please conduct security check for verification. Unauthorized entry or tampering with security system will result in death. Operate at your own risk. Luckily, please step inside the circle and hold up your left hand. Luckily, Surge is the arbiter because he has touched the frozen flame. So, most things would be dead about now, but uh, that is last blah blah blah. So that is why. So that is why Lynx needed the surge form. Lynx must be inside already. Yes, along with the frozen flame. So yeah, that's exactly. That's why I told you guys earlier that why Lynx needed needed Surge's body for this exact reason, man. Oh, we got a big ball of something. That's uh. where are we? And you know what, guys? I think we're gonna end off this episode right here. I know I'm ending it off at the worst possible time, but next episode will come soon, and we're gonna figure out what's going on here. So guys, thanks for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to like and comment as well as the channel. And I will see you guys later. God bless and goodbye.